Hey guys, Megan from Edgar here, and I wanted to talk to you today about using Edgar for multiple brands. We get some questions about this, whether you're using this for your personal LinkedIn account and your company account, whether you're managing multiple LinkedIn people from your company with Edgar, as well as your company pages, or if you're managing perhaps your side hustle and your husband's side hustle. Whatever the case may be, you know you can connect up to as many brands as you want as long as it stays in the account limit that you have set. So if you are doing this, what I always suggest doing is using your categories in a strategic way that makes it organized to prevent any cross-pollination of posts from one brand to the other. The way I suggest doing this is coming to your categories tab in Edgar and clicking on add category here. When you click to add a category in Edgar, put the name of the brand in the category. So for example, I would say brand one, whatever the name is, blog posts here and save it. Next, I'm gonna add another category and call it brand two, again, whatever the name is, blog posts here. Now, if I'm saving those two as separate categories, when I click to add new content here, what I can then do is always ensure that I'm assigning it to my brand one blog posts and assigning only my brand one accounts over here on the left. So these are the account permissions, remember. When you're checking off your account permissions, if something over here is not checked off, Edgar will never send it there. So as long as you're assigning it to your brand one category and only checking off your brand one accounts over here, you're good to go. Next, when you're scheduling content, same deal. Make sure for that category, you're only checking off the appropriate accounts on those time slots. So when I click to add a time slot and I select my brand one posts, I'm making sure I'm only selecting my brand one here, clicking save, and that way you can ensure that no posts from your brand two blogs go out to brand one because your permissions are set perfectly. You know you can always check in on this in the queue as well. The queue again is the connection between the posts being pulled from the library based on the time slots on your schedule. The filters in the queue make this useful because you can always go ahead and filter it by category or filter it by account to make sure you have everything set up right for the posts that are going out. So go nuts using this for multiple brands. Like I mentioned, other use cases for this would be to say, if you'd like to manage your company's Twitter profiles or your personal Twitter profile within Edgar, you can make categories for your personal Twitter versus your company Twitter, whatever works for you. We wanna make sure Edgar is always the most valuable. So go ahead and let us know if you have any questions at all by emailing support at meetedgar.com.